Hello from Yelena Gora, Poland. We're sitting here outside of our hotel. Uh, we're about to uh, uh, check out and uh, go to the train station where we have a five and a half hour to our next stop. But we just wanted to say hello and give you a live update from Poland. Yeah, good morning. Um, we're so glad to uh, be here. <laughs> and uh, it's been, we've been busy so far well, uh, in, a, a, in a really good it, way. And it's hard to believe it's been a week, a week already, already yeah, out of the States. Yeah. yeah, so just kind of want to give you a little update of what we've been doing. Uh, we started on Thursday evening after we uh, got here and we were at Mark and Marisha's church. It's New Life Church. Yes, and in, in Griefoff. In Griefoff. And we were able to minister to some people and just bring the word of the Lord. So that was a good good evening. From there, we went to Yarek and Oksana's church uh, in uh, uh, no, Janowice Wielki, Poland, uh, about an hour and a half away. And um, we've, we've established their, their church. Their name is the Church of the Region. We've established an ongoing relationship with them over the years. We so appreciate the, their ministry and their church. Um, and we've had the privilege over those years to speak some pretty bold and dramatic words. And it has transformed, literally transformed their churches. It's, it's wonderful to go back and to be able to see the fruit that has come up out of the ground from the seeds of the Word of God. Um, so that was a powerful ministry time as well, ministering to leaders and to the, the, to the body there. Right. And then um, this weekend, uh, I ministered at uh, Victory Church with Magda Broda, and we also were there last, both of us were there last night to uh, just share, speak into our leaders. So that was a great time of encouraging. And I had the privilege of going back to Grief Off Church and New Life Church with Pastor Mark and Marisa and ministering there as well. On Sunday, yeah. So just want to kind of give you an update. The churches in Poland are no different than the churches in the United States. It's and so it's been uh, just a real pleasure and a, a privilege to come and just bring a word of encouragement to them. It's been a difficult season for them, just like it's been difficult for you and for us. Yeah. And, um, you know, people just uh, making different choices and uh, just not as many coming back to church and just kind of struggling with how to get things in order, set yeah. back in order in a way that um, is moving forward. So it's been, uh, it's been, it's been sad in some way yeah. to kind of feel the weariness that's here, but um, as well to just trust the Lord that His His grace and His goodness and His word through us is yeah. is just brought some breathe some life where there hasn't been. We felt so received, and uh, in particular, you know, uh, being you, that you know us, one, our hearts are primarily um, passionate toward the leadership, and uh, whatever's on the head should flow down to the rest of the body. And, and so we, we count it such a privilege to minister to the leaders of the churches. We've prophesied over every, every pastor uh, at each church. We've uh, specifically called out leaders. And, and wanted to speak the word of the Lord into their lives to encourage them, to strengthen them so that uh, they're not weary, so that they become um, strong and courageous to do the work of the Lord. And uh, so, and we've had, we've so far we've ministered to over 110 people prophetically. So uh, let's see, that's in four uh, meetings. We've uh, ha uh, ministered to uh, just over 100 people uh, prophetically. We've had so it's a great response for that as well, and um, people are so hungry. Um, and they, as Don said before, we've been here, and so there's a reputation that has developed it that's not that that not, isn't perhaps typical when others have come with prophetic ministry. But they they report over and over again how accurate the words are, and it's such a joy to our hearts um, to see those words like seed planted in people's lives and, and coming into fruitfulness. Yeah, yeah, so we're getting ready to get on the train. I think Tim had mentioned that, so we're going to be traveling for about five, a little over five hours to our next city, and uh, this will kind of be probably the most intense part of what we're doing. Yeah. Um, we're going to be ministering to um, Swavik's church uh, in Olesno, uh, yeah. Poland, and uh, and as well as this weekend, this will be church, the church planner um, event, and so we're going to be ministering to those church planners. So it's going to be uh, what twelve or thirteen meeting twelve yeah. plus Sunday morning, so maybe thirteen yeah. meetings in, in, in five days. In five days, so um, there's going to be a lot of ministry time and a lot of pouring into leaders. Uh, but we are excited about what God is doing in Poland. I really, I heard him say that he's he's securing a nation and he's building his kingdom. And yeah. these these uh, ministers are key. They're they're the they're on the tip of the spear, if you will, um, in doing and and being. Uh, what God needs them to be in this season. So um, we're excited about that. 
So we just uh, finished by praying for you, thanking you for your heartfelt support, your prayers. We feel them. We, we are energized by the, uh, the, the backing in the, in the spiritual realm that uh, we have with you. And we, we are very aware that we have not gone on our own. We've been sent by you. And um, we carry you in our hearts. And the churches not only receive us, but they receive you as well. And so thank you for your support and prayer. And uh, we just we release the blessing of the Lord over you. And we just decree that this is a season of bountiful harvest, like that cornucopia that sits on the traditional Thanksgiving table that's full of the bounty of harvest. We just decree over you, Destiny, over every member of our family, uh, that you are entering in this season of fruitfulness. And the, the labor that you have labored is coming uh, into fruition, and you're going to get to taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And so I bless you not only with with the provision, provisional blessing, but with relational blessing, so that as you gather together, as you meet together, as you meet on Sunday mornings, there's just going to be this sweetness of relationship. Uh, but we bless you in Jesus' name. We love you guys. Take care. Have Thank a great you. day.